I'm Lisa Rayhana and I'm from Aotearoa, New Zealand. And the work I'm showing at FACT is called the Colour of Sin Headcase Version. As you can see, it's three 1970s Ralta hair dryers and I've turned them into sound domes. A number of years ago, I lost my studio and so all I had to work on was my computer. So what I started to do was do a series of prose writing and the writing is kind of about a woman who's considering having an affair or who's had an affair and uh, the opening line is, and he asked, what colour is your sin? And it was a question that was asked to me once and I thought it was, as an artist, I thought it was a fantastic question. When I first made it, this work, I made it um, for the Triennale, the Auckland Triennale. And so I felt that this um, was an opportunity to take this piece of writing and use that as an excuse to make a soundtrack and create um, a sound design piece. And um, what we did is we just projected the sound into an atrium space. And I found that people overlooked it in a way because it was, it was a place that people walked through. And being a sound artist and knowing it's a kind of a small discreet work and that it might be shown with other artists' work, it was really nice to find a mechanism by which I could contain the sound as well. So it wasn't kind of bleeding out into other, other people's works. I'd always thought that it would look great under these hair dryers, so I decided that I would go and find them. It took me a, a couple of months of op shopping and looking around to actually get them, get what I wanted, and then find a sound engineer to work with me to turn them into these kind of sculptures. I worked with a girlfriend, Meryl Main, who's got this beautiful speaking voice. And then I worked with my partner, um, James Pinker, and Angus McNaughton, who are both sound engineers. And we were really inspired by the soundtrack THX1138 and used these kind of sounds and pushed the voice through these kinds of sounds. Well, there's that 70s element, so it has that kind of, um, whether it's in the past or whether it's in the future, because it's got the, si I mean, I do think it's quite science fiction-y looking. My mother was a hairdresser, and I used to think they were hilarious. These kind of, seeing lots of ladies with their rollers in their hair, and it was a real woman's space, and it was a place where they, women went and gossiped and talked to each other. So it felt like um, these objects and those kind of ideas um, sat really nicely together. I made, it, I made it for another exhibition. And then knowing it was coming to a bar, I decided that I, I actually had this shelf, this Formica shelf built, because yeah. I thought that if people are in a bar, they're most likely to put a, their glass of wine or their beer. Or, so it needed to be um, a wipeable surface. People love actually sitting underneath them uh, and listening into that sound. And so it does, it does kind of immerse you in a world, but it is really nice how then you also become part of the work. Yeah.